Hey guys, tonight's video is for the young subscribers that subscribe to this channel, most likely adults age, I'd say 18 to 30, because a lot of you guys are still spring chickens. Um, but tonight's tonight's quick video, I'm going to try to make it a quick video, is about, you know, the political corruption. I mean, we're, we're moving into, we're moving into um, the election is coming right up, guys, and I want you to know that one of the main things that I learned as an older adult, like I'm 42 years old right now, is how fucking corrupt, how fucking corrupt this fucking political climate is. It's literally ridiculous how corrupt it is. Um, they flat out will lie to you on the on the news. The the the. What you young people need to know, the 18-year-olds that watch this, the 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds, the young people that watch my channel, is that the fucking news is literally, they're all a bunch of liars. Half the shit they say doesn't even fucking even, even exist. They tell us that we're on the brink of nuclear war constantly. They tell us that the nukes are about to drop any fucking minute, which half the time is not even fucking true. They just use, they just do it to keep us in suspense 24 fucking seven. They want us to be a constant crisis state of mind so we can never think of what to do. We can never come together as a people to work on a common goal because we're always worried about is today the day the fucking nukes are going to fall or is today the day that the fucking world's going to end. They want us to be in a crisis state of mind so that we're never creating positive change. We're never, we're never, you know, helping each other. We're never, we're never there for each other. We're ne never creating positive change for our nations, for our countries, because we're always thinking about Jesus. What am I going to eat today? Jesus, what, what am I going to have for my next meal? They want to keep you broke. They want to keep you dependent. They want to keep you without health insurance. So you're not healthy. Um, the people that are running this world right now, I hate to say it, but these people are majority of them are fucking evil. The whole, they will have nothing and be happy. I've got some news for you. The majority of the people that you think you're going to fuck over, we're coming for you. The evil men that are in this country, I want you to know that we're coming for you. The good people like myself, we're coming for you. We're not going to just let you fuck us over. We're not going to just let you take our country over and make us into slave bitches. Got you no, I got you, I got you to know, got to tell you that you're not going to be able to sleep well at night because you're going to have people like me hunting you down because we're not going to just let ourselves go to hell. We're not going to let this country go to hell. We're not going to let America go to hell. We're not going to become slaves where we have literally, we own nothing. We're not going to become like that. We're just going to get together and fucking start killing these people that are ruining our lives. That's what we're going to fucking do. We're not going to be slaves. We're not going to be held down to the ground. We're not going to be a nation that owns nothing. Over my dead fucking body, will that ever happen? Over my dead fucking body, will I be a fucking slave and own nothing? Okay. I will be fucking, I will be fucking raking together men in that event. Um, now they're making militias illegal, which is completely anti-constitution. It's completely against the fucking constitution for America to say that we can't have constitu can't have militias. Militias were here the, the last hundreds of fucking years. America was built on private militias. The militias were supposed to protect Americans. They were supposed to protect the American government. They were supposed to support the American government. Whereas now the American government is basically an enemy of the American people. I mean, let's be honest. The American government, they don't even work for America. They don't, they literally, the American politicians literally give zero fucks what I think. And I'm an American citizen. I live in America and the politicians that I have elected, that I have paid to be in the office, literally give zero fucks about any single one of us. That's why we need to vote these bad politicians out. The bad ones, the bad ones that don't care about people. 
I'm sure there's a couple nice politicians out there that are nice. Like, uh, like there's East Coast politicians that are pretty friendly and nice. Um, I can't speak for all the politicians. I know there's some kind politicians out there. Um, I can't, I can't put every single Democrat in the same boat because I don't think every single Democrat is evil. I think it's a small handful of, of Democrats that are evil that literally do not care about the American people. Why would you have an open fucking border if you cared about the American people? That proves they don't care about the American people. We've had young women raped. We've had people murdered. We've had people, we've had gangs rise up. We've had apartment buildings being taken over by gangs. If the U.S. government cared about Americans, this would not be fucking happening. The U.S. has not had a, we have not had a government for at least four years since Biden took over. We haven't had any fucking government. Literally the fucking corporate, the corporate CEO psychopaths, their literal psychopaths are running this country. That's who's been running the country for the last four years. It hasn't been Biden. It hasn't been the Democrats. They let the evil men take over America the last four years. And American citizens, we, we, we are not going to allow these high up people to make us into slaves who own nothing. What we are going to do is we're going to come together against these people and we're going to have public hangings. We're going to have public elect, elect we're going to be electrocuting these people in public. We're going to be hanging these fucking scumbags in public. Because we're not going to be fucking slaves for you motherfuckers. We're going to be fucking eating you guys for fucking lunch at our fucking grill. Out at our fucking... We're going to have a fucking little barbecue. And guess what? You're going to be in the fucking barbecue, you motherfuckers. Because the American people are not going to just roll over and own nothing. Over our dead fucking bodies will we own nothing. You'll be six feet in the fucking ground before that happens, you motherfucker.